I was waiting for my neighbors to cut the grass. We were eating dinner, which is fine. They cut their grass so much. Here, but, uh, they were cutting the grass. It takes like, I don't know, 40, 40, 45 minutes. As soon as he was about 10 minutes from finishing, that neighbor started cutting. So it's been cutting, cutting, cutting. I was like, the perfect light. Although I thought the video that I said the other day that had great lighting, it could be brighter, but you know what? It's adequate. So. Box opening. <laughs> a box opening. Maybe that he's just putting it away. This is from a, we'll call it, I don't know what you call it. Patreon. Cool dude that watches YouTube videos, that comments on my YouTube videos, that's enjoying the process of where I've been going. We're kind of on the same page, which is really funny because I really hope that sound goes away. I heard like, you know what? People actually will forgive picture quality more so than sound quality, which makes sense. So he was in the beard game. He's got a beard himself. I think he's actually gotten his beard longer, but as far as like beard scents go, where everyone's like revving up to like, I need to have the next beard scent. He's more on the level of slowing down on beard oils and revving up on clones. He just says they're, they're longer lasting, that you get more punch out of them. I will totally agree. I don't think a lot of people would would not agree with that. And I was thinking of making a cologne versus beard oil video as far as scent goes, because to me scent is like at the top. And that is super loud. I'll do a little bit of editing on here. So the only thing about colognes is like you get one big bottle of cologne. Some of them are like up to 70 bucks now. That's so much nice. That's in art class, we'd have a motor going and when it turned off, it's like you didn't notice the motor, but once it turned off, it, it was like a headache that just went away. So anyways, he's kind of uh, on the out, outs with beard oil. So he was like, hey, why don't I send you some your way and then uh, you can make some videos. One of them I know he wanted to get my uh, feedback on specifically which one. So let's find out. I want to say a big thanks. Totally cool. This doesn't happen very often where somebody just sends me stuff. I win, I win things here and there. I don't really consider that like it's cool when you, when you give the opportunity to win. But it's not the same as just like, hey, you don't have to do anything and I'm sending you something. So... Oh, that's cool. That's real cool. His name is X Mr. Davis 4 on YouTube. He goes by a total different name on Instagram. It's kind of a harder name to pronounce. I will throw Bruh. both of them in the description box below. Go follow that dude. He's awesome. <laughs> that's cool. That's really cool. It's like, what? It looks like a sticker. Just This is just fun. There's a guy going, hooray. Hey, there you go, big teak dog. Hope you enjoy, brother. And uh, did this box come, this is a heavy box. It did not look like it made it without some battle damage. I'm seeing some oil leakage right there. Nicely packed on top. Cool, very cool. Oh my God, oh my God. Beard octane, fresh beards. I do not collect or have any of these. So, uh, very nice. I, I do really appreciate that red beard octane color. I was watching Mad Max 4 today, Fury Road, and uh, octane probably came up a couple times in that. So, let's see. Beard bomb. And, uh, it even looks like... There's some octane right there. Even looks like when the black scratch is off, there's gold underneath. So that actually makes it cool. Sort of like, you know, it'll patina. It smells very nice, very cologne smelling. I will do more of a what do I think video later. This is just an unboxing. So we've got, he's a big oud guy. Got a fresh beard, uh, fresh beard something or other. Doesn't just come out beard butter. So. It wasn't that long ago I had no beard butter. I, I feel like I'm more of a beard butter guy than a beard bomb guy. When it comes to beards, when you really have a short beard, there's a lot of guys out there that have short beards. I might have to pause this video with that. 
that cutty. There's a lot of guys that have short beards, and they're all like putting beard beard balm in. And really, like when you have a short beard, you don't really need to put anything in. It's, it's short. Um, and then you get to this awkward stage, I feel, and that's kind of where you get these like longer pieces, and you're like trying to go to a longer state. So you got to keep it kind of going and keep it looking good on those awkward stages and that's where I find beard balm to go then it grows out more then you cut like an awkward stage again but once it gets like super long and all kind of like gravity takes care of it so uh, this smells like straight up wood lumber store wood this one is called woodland so what is this what is that it's a, uh, a poor I don't even know how to say this. I just say home, but no, it's not that. It's in a cologne. That's nice. God dang. This is a, uh, this is for sure a care package. I have never gotten a beard balm and beard oil together in a combo. And I know how that's like, most guys want that. I don't because I'm always like, if I'm gonna spend my dollar and I have only like a limited amount of funds, um, I would rather try more, but I know I think I'm I'm kind of like the opposite guy on that where mo most guys want to pair them up So another uh, fresh beards it's a cool logo by the way kind of like the male symbol And I've gotten these reducer tops, but they've always been a very slow drip That one is a very larger drip. So that is actually gonna be pretty cool Probably just what? There, there's a, a little bit of oil. Let's give it a smell. Lumbery. Lum lots of lumber. I was just cutting some uh, some boards. Definitely has that smell. This is cool. This is a, for a one ounce. That looks really small. That almost looks like a half ounce. This is for sure a one ounce. And the size difference is, is noticeably different huh I don't know so I'm like what it's loose um, yeah who's the culprit who leaked just heard about this the other day that there's child locks smells good very lightly uh, very light fresh smell this is called liquid gold and there's more there's still more there's a lot I just packed a fragrance sample pack oh sweet a lot of this stuff's used, that's cool. People send used things, they're kind of like done with it. That's cool, that's cool. It's like totally branded up in here. Oh man, battle damage from the tape. That's, oh, big time battle damage. Should take my time. This, it's been like X'd. X'd, Mr. X tape. So it's a little, you know. These all got the same sort of smell, the liquid gold. I got the liquid gold butter, balm, and oil. With all the same smelly smells. And that's always a big thing. It's like, do they smell the same? I will have to glue that back on. Another woodland. What is what is in the box? What is in the bag? The Royal Knight. Very tied up. Not worried about COVID right now, so if I was worried about COVID, doing a smell test on anything would be like freaking me out. But not worried. Wow. I have seen small beard oil samples, but I've never seen small butter or bomb samples. This is a beard bomb tiny little beard bomb from the Royal Knight. I know there's a company he wants me to check out. Maybe it's this company. I will have to ask him. And then there's one more big thing. What could it be? It's like it's like it's, it's like mail inside of mail. Mail inside of mail. God God dang, take a look at this guys. Take a look at this before I do. See that? Jesus Christmas. There you go, big teak dog. Look at that. 
This is like, it was cool though, because these are miniatures. Artius Man, I do not own any Artius Man. Which I know Artius Man was doing a, you, there's a, a lot of fan, like big time fans of Artius Man. And then some people are not a fan of, I think they're heavier castor oils. From what I've heard, heavier oils are better in white beards or gray beards. I will do a, uh, I'll cut this all up because I'm going too slow to be looking at this one. Tenderbox. Let's just give this a look. No child lock. So, that's so cool. Oh my god, that's really cool. I've never seen an oil that dark. That looks like, that looks like motor oil dark. And that's, that smells good and I can smell it from here. Very, uh, very woodsy tinderbox. That makes sense. Uh, mountain air. That could be anything. I love these little, you could just fit more of these on your shelf. You don't have to like commit yourself. This one, maybe this one, one of them might have leaked. No, this one couldn't have leaked. It was in this. Minty, almost like a uh, toothpaste. The wise man. I was just thinking of the wise men. I was just thinking of the wise men the other day. The wise men always had me, every, everybody knows the wise men story. And they brought the, the three wise men, they were all kings, and they brought gold, which is like, who doesn't want, gold's like, as a kid, or just like, in general, it was like the most precious thing. Um, this is like before like platinum was even a thing. But gold, frankincense, and myrrh, so you like, you know gold's super good. One dude brings gold, the other guys bring frankincense and myrrh and you're like what are those then you find out basically they're scented oils so you're like these guys brought scented oils this guy brought gold how do these two compute the gold's like way up here scented oils you know i can go to my local cvs get some oils uh come to find out scented oils back then they are they're equal to gold or even even greater than gold so let's just take a quick look uh, I kind of want to smell them all though. So we'll just cut this up, edit this up. Tiny, tiny little beard octane guy. Rodeo. It's like beard octane, there we go. Every time I see beard octane. Wow, that, that is a tiny dripper. That looks very almost 100% clear. Not getting a whole lot of it, but it's good. I've really not found a smell I don't like. Maybe, maybe, I'm not a fan of cedar. This one's very just wood, straight up wood. I, I can rock wood. I can rock the wood. Uh, E4, it's kind of like when you run out of names, you go to letters and numbers. Oh, okay, so the one artist man was like super yellowy. This one is clear. Very heavy. You can see it as it's dripping. It kind of has like a like a dewy effect. I'd almost call this one sort of like um like a wood and mint. It's good. It's good. Um, now they're kind of like wood and mint. You know, it's kind of like was like the scent back in the day. Like those are like um, like what do we do? What what kind of what kind of sense do we make for for men? They're like let's make them feel like they're outdoors, you know. Guys with beards are like outdoor people. These are packed very well, by the way. Citrus fire. Don't have a whole lot of citrus. I find citrus to be good for summer. Look at the bubbles. Ooh. Yeah, it's like um, like a citrus with like a cinnamon warmth to it. Restoration. These are tiny, by the way. Man, I have to do a group shot of these puppies. Another clear one. That's good. It's like it almost feels like Christmas. Hmm. It's like warmth with a little bit of like evergreen to it. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think, Mr. X? You got your own opinions on all this. It's funny. I make these videos about these scents. I'm literally like learning them. Like I had no clue what they are and I like 
study up on them a little bit and then I like try to portray what I know quickly before I forget it all. And then he's all in the comments like, boom, 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 like the finer little detail points that until like an hour ago, I didn't even know. And uh, I probably wouldn't have, I forgot. And like, as he's like mentioning them in the comments, I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Or it just adds a little bit of something here and there. I love that. This one has classic gent. This one does have a very cedary smell. I wonder, let me give this one a smell. This is funny though. Like this looks like a full size girth size to its driver, but then it's like stubby. I'll be interested. I didn't get a castor oil until the other day. It like stays beaded up and doesn't like just like spill out. Someone's either getting mail or the trash finally came. Definitely getting that uh, lumber yard. It smells more like a wood mint again. It's like wood mint with small variations, small variations. A little tiny one, cotton peach. C-O-T and peach. Nicholas Beard Works. Oh man, Nicholas Beard Works, they're the ones that do the, they're the ones that do the skulls. Mm, that's, that's really nice. That smells like one of those gummy peach rings. I don't know if they have a special name. Gummy peach ring. This one is a mystery oil for sure. Very, uh, moves around in there though pretty well. This one might be poison. Uh, yeah, hard to describe that one. And then, uh, what is that? It looks like a joint. I don't know. <laughs> Even the bag. Like, what could it be? It's clear wrapper with clear tape. Feels like it's light as air. This is like literally, I don't think it took me this long to open up Christmas gifts this year. This is uh, longer. Hopefully I'm still rolling tape. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at 19 minutes. I am gonna cut this down because um, in one of my formats you can't even upload to YouTube past 15 minutes. So... Could it be? What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? It could be anything. It's unlabeled. Never seen something that long. I feel like my nose is kind of like blown out from all this. Mm, that's good. That's different than everything on here. Something that like, smells like what a lady would appreciate on a dude. So. Yeah, one of these is something he wants to see. I'll have to like, maybe I'll number all these and I can be like, which number, which number was it? Then I can do a proper, proper like in-depth look. Cause he said this, this company doesn't get like hardly any showtime. So whatever that was leaking, you can see it like hit here, went through the paper. That's not bad though. I don't feel any oilness, oily. I don't feel any oily on anything. This might have, uh, this might have, s weird because it looks good there, but then like on the side, you see a little like brighter white. So this might need to get like a refreshed. You're supposed to like heat it up, stir it up, and then cool it back down. We'll see. I don't know. All right, dude, check this out. Boom. Look at all that stuff. Look at it all. Whoa. Oh, I don't know what that says. Some sort of Mexican candy. Yippee! All right, I'm at, I'm at 22 minutes, so. This was my stand for the day, it's just some, some coffee. 